I want to get your reaction, first of all, uh, to what is emerging as the testimony that we're going to hear in tomorrow's hearing about the attorney general's interference in the Roger Stone case. Well, as you mentioned, I was in the Navy and I've served all over the world. I've always been incredibly proud of our justice system, um, the impartiality of our justice system, free from political interference. And yet everything in Zelensky's opening statement speaks to uh, exactly what we set everything against our values. So uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with sentencing guidelines, as you're an assistant U.S. attorney, you look through the sentencing guidelines. They're fairly rigid. They lay out the case. Um, sometimes you have enhancements for bad behavior. So things like, for example, what Mr. Stone did, painting a target on the face of the judge, lying to the judge, lying to Congress. And, and yet here in this, we see because of political pressure, um, they were being the, the assistant U.S. attorneys were being asked not to enhance the sentence or make it longer, but rather to lower the sentence, which, you know, here is someone who, who was showing no remorse whatsoever. I, I see no evidence that, that any, any U.S. attorney's office would somehow lower that sentence. So this concerns me and should really concern every American. Uh, I want to read more from what uh, Aaron Zelinsky is going to say tomorrow. And he is still a prosecutor working in this Justice Department with William Barr technically uh, as his boss. He said he's going to say tomorrow in his opening remarks, what I heard repeatedly was that Roger Stone was being treated differently from any other defendant because of his relationship to the president. And uh, Congresswoman Cheryl, that's what that's what it appeared to be from the outside, but here's someone who's inside saying, yes, that's exactly what it was. Exactly, which I think we have to really admire this country's wonderful public servants. Here's someone who is a line prosecutor, his, uh, his boss, um, the U.S. attorney, was afraid of the president. He was told by his supervisor, according to this opening statement, that yes, this was unethical and wrong. However, they had to pretty much uh, keep their heads down or they could lose their jobs. And, and he, he didn't do that. In fact, all four of the prosecutors, according to this testimony, all four of the prosecutors resigned after their sentencing memo was withdrawn and a new one that they felt was incorrect was put forward. 